What is up guys? Don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic sculpting, animation, music, and more. Check out my game, Linger on the Dreamverse, and follow me on Dreams. I'm Young Text YouTube, and subscribe to me for more content. Just check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials. So this is the logic. I'm also going to show you what it does in game because I have it pretty much all done in game. So pull out a remote control that's not connected to your puppet and a control sensor that's not connected to your puppet and put it on remote control. From there, put your pause button. Mine's just the touchpad. So when I press in with the touchpad, it sends a signal to the signal manipulator. The signal manipulator settings need to be on toggle up or you might be able to try toggle down and then make sure there's no lines on either side whenever that happens. From there, for the signal, put it into the A and B of the AND gate, the same signal. So you'll be doing it, you know, kind of like this. But you only want to do it twice. Now you can use another gate. I know there's another gate you can use. I just like AND gates for some reason, because they're like the main ones you use. To change the color of your pause menu, uh, just use the gradient effect. Now you can use the main menu tutorial that some people have uploaded for your uh to add buttons and stuff to it just look up dreams ui main menu tutorial on youtube you should be able to find that if you want to add extra buttons it's pretty simple though um for the you know the pause text just put paused you might even be able to do some things with the dialogue displayer i'll show you that here in a second this is how you turn down everything mixed and master just make it to where it's turned down with one keyframe make it to where it powers off the your uh, main character's control sensor and turns this on none and make sure that's not on keep make sure none of these keyframes are on keep the keep changes thing make sure that's not lit up and with the dialog text display what you can do i haven't tried this but you can try messing with these things right here because whenever you press something it enter, uh, sends off a signal so you can try messing with that with your pause menu. So mix and master, just turn everything down. Keyframes, keyframes. Now to get everything to stop moving, what you'll have to do is go to every individual object and just make it to where it doesn't move. Make sure this part's not lit up. There might be an easier way to do this in the future as the game updates, maybe through the global game settings. So make sure you look there. So let's go ahead and see this in action. Let's see if we know what I'm talking about. This is my game Polybius and it will be out whenever I think it's quality content. So whenever I, you, whenever I press my pause menu in this game, it's a little bit different. Well, it's not too different. You get the, you know, the gist of it. And I haven't made it to where it pauses everything yet. And if there's another way to do this, let us know in the comment section. So right now, right here, I have pouring blood. You would have to pause your animation timelines also by uh, making it where the keyframe powers it off. So if you have any animations in that way, make sure those just power off. Right now, the blood pour should be raising, but if I pause, As you can see, it's not raising. <laughs> but if I unpause, it starts raising. So just make sure the things aren't on movable and you should be good. You should be good. That's actually a trap right there. So that's how you get things to pause. Just go ahead and click with the keyframe. Uh, make sure, uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and just in case, just in case you didn't understand that. Pull out a keyframe. And make sure the result is in the power of the keyframe. Make sure the result for this is in the power of everything. And then what you'll want to do with the keyframe, because it can actually change variables like numbers and it can change this kind of stuff. Just make sure the keyframe un uh, unmoves that. And that's how you do that with the keyframe. You have to do that with like every object that moves. Now, what I recommend you do is if you have enemies, 
do this with one enemy and it should affect all the enemies and then start cloning it. Now, I'm not sure if that'll work, but in theory it should. So you can try that. And that should make things a thousand times easier. I mean, you're really not going to have that many enemies anyway. Like, I imagine like 15 enemies per level for uh, the majority of the games. It's not like we're making Mag or anything or Fortnite or anything. So it's probably like a good 10 or 20 minutes just doing this. Nothing too hard. But again, I hope it updates in some way. So with animations, all you'd have to do is... Uh, you might have to make sure it's on sustain or on loop and then with the same keyframe plugged into the result of your pause menu just make it to where it powers off or um, you know does that probably made more sense to do that wouldn't it and that should be how you do this like just make it to where the keyframes change uh, the speed or power things off and you should be good. And with your main character, you know, it's remote control sensor, your main character, just put that on none or disable control somehow or power it off with a keyframe. Make sure none of this is on keep and have the result that, now if I didn't say it, um, put this on up or down for your signal manipulator, make sure you're on this part. And that's how you make pause menus in Dreams PS4. For menu UI tutorials, just look it up and you should be good. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope this helps and peace out. Mix and masters what takes away the sound. So if you don't know where that is, because I know a lot of people probably don't use that. It's either this one, I mean, I use this though, but might be able to use that also and then just turn everything down all right guys uh if there's a better way to do this just let me know in the comment section and peace out